Today I'm going to be reviewing Form Futura's new HD Glass and Easy Fill PLA. So here's what it looked like when it arrived in the mail. And inside the box it was wrapped in these two smaller boxes. And it's nice because they put all the information that you need to store it, um, all the information on the box as well as on the rolls of the filament. It's always nice when they can put the uh, the information uh, in terms of print temp and um, everything you need on the rolls. Um, this is their HD glass and it's super bright, super shiny. It's, um, it's color see-through red. It looks great. Um, this is their Easy Fill PLA bronze. They have 20 different colors and sizes for both of these. Starting with the HD glass, if you go on their website, um, they sell mostly filament. They also have some uh, bed adhesion tape and things like that. But mainly what they do is filament and they have tons of information on there. They tell you everything you need to know about it, what temperatures to print, tips for printing, all the strength, all the, uh, the diameter and everything you should be printing with. So it's on their website is some of the most uh, thorough information I've ever seen on uh, a filaments website in terms of helping you to print. But starting with the HD glass, it's a PETG based, but what's surprising is it prints at, they recommend 195 to 225, which is a lot lower. Most PETGs print at 240. So this one's a lot lower, but they say it has um, high strength. They say it does not need a heated bed, which is also um, rare for a PETG base. So this is, if you have a, a a more budget printer or a beginner printer that can't get up to a high temp and doesn't have a heated bed, this would be a great PETG filament to start off with. Then with their PLA, this one also prints at 210 to 220, which is a little bit higher than normal PLAs. Most of them will suggest um, 190 to 200. This one prints, it's funny, this one prints a little lower than PET and this one prints a little higher than PLA. Um, we'll take them upstairs. We'll print out our, our four test pieces for each one. Um, I'll show you the settings that I'm gonna use to print with it, and we'll come back down, we'll review them, see how it prints, and uh, let you know what I think of it. So here we are at the computer, and the first thing I wanted to do was quickly go over um, what you'll find on the Form Futures website. Um, the two main things are the, the different filament sizes, and I have uh, 1.75, the PLA Easy Fill, in the HD glass, you can see all the different colors and types that they have. I'm gonna be testing the uh, see-through red. This is the most complete and thorough amount of information I've ever seen as far as information and uh, they give you temperature suggestions and they have specifications on it and density and how to get it to adhere to the bed and all sorts of stuff, you know, really good information if, if you're trying to figure out, if you're trying to go to a material like this HD glass and you're like, well, some other sites don't have a lot of information. Um, this has everything and a good way to get you started. And again, it has it right here on the roll so you can't forget, okay, I, this prints between 195 and 225. Oh, I got it. You don't have to come to this site to, to be reminded of their recommended temperatures, but it is on there. The first one is this very general part, and it's a chess piece, and I, I thought it's a good good thing to print because it's got curved shapes, it has some overhangs, it has some detail here at the top, so you really have to have your settings dialed in to get this right. Uh, the next thing I wanted to print was a bottle opener, and, and for this I wanted to print to show the strength of the material. Not only the strength and the, the layers bonding together, but the tensile strength. And again, um, with a carabiner, this I want to print to show if it does have that tensile strength on a small cross section, but also it has to be ductile. It has to be able to bend back and forth multiple times. And this I wanted to show how detailed it could print, how accurate it could print.
Well, I just finished printing off the eight different test parts for Form Futura, and I'm gonna start talking about their Easy Fill PLA and bronze. And when I first saw that you can get filament in, you know, a bronze and a metallic or silver or gold, I wasn't really sure about it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, metallic finish, whatever. It's still just plastic. But after printing with this, I really like the finish on this PLA, especially if, if you see this Yoda statue, if you're gonna print little figures or little uh, guys that you wanna have a nice finish, this looks amazing. It's one of the best ones I've printed and it just looks mu so much better than all these other plastics you print with. It has a shine to it and it has a deep rich color in all the crevices and it looks really great. I printed all of these parts, all eight of them, with a point three millimeter Z spacing. And that's because I wanted to try to push the filament to its quote unquote breaking point. I wanted to see where it would fail, where it would sag or dip or bubble or not print correctly. With the uh, HD glass, the PETG, I printed at 235 degrees Celsius. And with the PLA, I printed at 210. Um, and looking at the chest piece, it printed off really nicely. And especially with this filament, every little detail shows up. With this HD glass chest piece, it came out great. I didn't get any sagginess, any droopiness. It has a super nice shine to it. It's uh, almost transparent where the thin edges meet. This looks super nice and shiny and crisp lines right out of the, right off the print bed. Moving on to the carabiner, first with the PLA. Um, this is super rigid, like you would expect most PLAs to be. Um, there's no give. I could tell it's, it's not as bendy as, for example, this HD glass. This bends a little bit more, but it's more, you could tell it's a little more durable, a little stronger part. And speaking of that, I printed some other parts with uh, their HD glass that I knew, because like I said, I, I, I know it prints at a higher temp, 235 or 240. And I used some of these. I was going to print a test, uh, a mounting bracket for an E3D. Um, hot end and extruder and I decided I printed with this HD glass and it printed there's a layer here that's I don't know a couple millimeters and I still can't bend it that's how strong it is so this stuff is incredibly strong the PETG and I'm super happy with how it turned out and I, I would definitely use it even though it's an HD glass and you might do it for decorative stuff it's really strong and really durable um, and moving on to the carabiner for the PETG um, the HD glass, it's very rigid, you can't bend it, you can tell it's strong, and the lines are super crisp and clean on this edge. With the, uh, the bronze color, it's got a deep, uh, rich color to it, unlike any other filament I've printed with, it looks really great, and these lines with a PLA are so crisp. And then lastly, talking about detail, this Yoda head with the HD glass, I printed with, uh, with a structure support, it probably didn't need it as it didn't need it with this chest piece. It came out just fine. All the details showed up. You can see everything in here. And this is a great filament. If you want to print a structural part, it turns out great, but it's also great for, I, I, I'm sure if you wanted to print a vase, it would look so great. It would be see-through and clear like this chest piece. If I hold up to the light, I can see light shining through it. This would be a great for decorative. And if you wanted to print it really thin, it would be nice and strong. Um, but one of the real surprises for me and real standout was this Yoda head with this bronze PLA, this Easy Fill, Easy Fill PLA. Just how good it looked. Everything printed nice and crisp and clean, and just the depth and color of it was was unlike other filaments. So I was thought it was a bit of a gimmick when you hear you know a metallic finished plastic, but I'm really happy with how this uh, bronze turned out. Both of these filaments, I'm super happy with how they printed. Both have their own advantages and uh, characteristics for different types of parts. This would be for a, maybe a vase or a nice thin, strong vase that you want the light to shine through and look really nice. And this prints certain things like figures and details with such depth and color to it. So they have totally different looks and a little bit different characteristics. If you haven't printed with them, I highly recommend checking out their website, looking at all the filament they have. I'm telling you, you're not gonna be disappointed with it. So again, I'm really happy with how both of these two different types of filaments printed out. And let me know what you think, thanks. If you open up Cura, and I have the, uh, the old version going for a very simplified um, settings 
and I'll open up the profile and I'll go to your base PLA and let's assume um, that I'm gonna do this for their easy fill PLA and I'll show you later what the HD glass is gonna be but on their PLA right on the roll they have their recommended settings 180 to 220 so for this part you know I want it to be pretty accurate so I might go 195 for the bottle opener I might crank that all the way up to 220 to try to get really good uh, layer adhesion and make sure those layers are melting together for high strength um, for bed temperature for the PLA you probably don't need it but I like to set it at 50 print speed you want it accurate I I'm happy with 40 that's a good baseline um, support type none I don't need any support for this but for the Yoda and Link and all those other things I will need support so I'm going to be changing these for each different part um, somewhat but a, a good baseline to start with um, the temperature is not going to change very much um, and layer height and shell thickness that won't change very much uh, if, if you want it a little more detailed you can up it and fill density I might go 40 it's I don't think it's really going to change the time it might add a few minutes yeah it's not that big of a deal um, now retraction the PLA I've printed with this I haven't had any reason not to lower this down it's not going to get stringy on you um, whereas this HD glass this stuff can get stringy although it it's printing at a lower temperature than most PET it's PET based and that stuff can get really stringy um, usually with PET you're gonna have to print this at you know 200 240 degrees but with this stuff you can print it as low as you know 200 or 210 or you know they're recommended as 195 to 225 so if this stuff doesn't print quite as stringy as most PETs it prints a much much cleaner and so you're not gonna need 240 for that you, you can go you know 210 um, but anyway for both of these um, I like to put a, a first layer thickness down and make it a little thicker so I'll uh, make this 140 just to get some more filament down on that first layer to kind of squish it to the plate and get really good adhesion and a nice smooth surface um, uh, the bottom speed I'll print a little slower than 40 I'll print it at 30 infill a little faster and the outer shell I'll print a little slower um, uh, like I said one difference for that PET I might make this 50 and 5 to start off with that would be a good starting point but for the PLA I can lower that down because it's not quite as stringy but 